Welcome to our channel. I'm Vero and this is Justin. We're a Canadian couple who took a year off from our 9 to 5 to come live in Europe. We post weekly vlogs about our adventures and if you like our videos, please subscribe to show your support. And now Justin's about to try his first outdoor drone flying. So I've tried it once before and it was indoors in our apartment in Ottawa and it didn't go so well. It actually flew towards me. I was on the sofa and I, I was freaking Everyone out. Everyone was yelling, Amber was barking. We've been walking Amber in this tiny little park that's tucked away behind a bar. But we have this thing about two minutes away from our place. It's called Pignac Pac. Okay, so we're all set up here and let's see what Justin can do. And uh, powered on for the first time. At then charge the remote controller. Didn't know you had to. At Cafe History right now for a quick coffee before we go to Maxime Park. This is Justin's second shot at flying the drone. We came to a different park. It's called Maximir. It was about a 45 minute walk from our place. We brought Ember on our walk and she's just absolutely loving the nature. So Justin's now just completing all the steps to prepping the drone to fly. And now he's about to do his first flight. <laughs> While Justin is flying his drone, I'll give you a few facts about this park. It's the oldest public park in Zagreb. It's 780 acres long. It's got a lake here and possibly a few more. First drone flight is success. I had a warning about the location. Thought it was just an error or something because we're in a park and there's no laws in Croatia against or, or for flying drone. Turns out it's because of the soccer stadium where Dinamo Zagreb plays, which is right across the street. And I was actually able to see it. The following day, we decided to go visit other parks that the city offers. A local tour guide told us about a green horseshoe that consists of seven parks and squares joined by the botanical garden, also known as the Lenuzzi Horseshoe. It was constructed during the rebuild of the city after the 1880 earthquake. We are in park number one of the horseshoe, which is called Zrenjevats. And it's really nice. It's surrounded by a bunch of parliament buildings. There's some embassies too. So our tour guide told us that this mayor, who's currently elected to run Zagreb, loves fountains. There's one here, one there, one there, and I'm sure there's gonna be one there at some point. So there's red scarves on the statues behind me because the girlfriends of the soldiers during the war would wrap their scarves and the soldiers would keep it wrapped around their neck while they were fighting. Instrumental in founding the Yugoslav Academy of Sciences and Arts, which I'm assuming is this building. That would make sense. It's always right there. Looks chill though. Park number three, Kalia Tomislava. Park number four, Ante Stastavica. So this hotel behind me is called Hotel Esplanade. It's apparently the most luxurious hotel in Zagreb, and it was even a stop on the Orient Express. Unfortunately, it's closed until April 1st. And if you look through here, the gate, they also say no dogs. So the botanical garden is not an option today. What's cool about this horseshoe thing, I mean, every city has parks, right? But this one, all these parks are right beside each other and they form a horseshoe. And so you really don't have to walk far between each. I mean, maybe cross like one or two streets, that's it. Definitely recommend checking it out if you come to Zagreb. Park number six, Majuhanitsev Park. This park is definitely the most random out of all of the other parks. There's no real big statue or monuments. This is behind me, the Croatian National Theater. Okay, so take two here with Justin flying a drone, although I guess you could call it take three because the first time didn't work. And now we're back in Ribniak Park, which is not part of the horseshoe, but it is the park that is closest to our Airbnb. My goal is to get a shot of that thing right there from the air. Oh yeah. That's the highest it's been so far. I don't know why, it's just like nerve-wracking. Putting technology in the air, it's like, whoa. Super liquid courage. What's that noise mean? It means low battery. Return home promptly. So we're in the water. 
It's so close to you. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.